local land services Western Region, we've got four pillars to to cater for. Uh, they're the functions of uh, natural resource management, uh, biosecurity, agricultural advice, and emergency management. There's 11 local land service uh, regions across the state. We're by far the biggest. We cover over 40 percent. It's the Western Division, effectively, so most of it. It's the area bounded by South Australian border, Queensland border, uh, a little bit of the Murray River. So our priorities are uh, management of ground cover, uh, particularly uh, management of biosecurity uh, threats to the region, uh, management of pest animals. We're responsible for approvals under the Native Vegetation Act uh, and responsibility for emergency management, which includes animal management aspects in particular of events like floods, fires, that sort of thing. There are a number of programs that fall within devolved grants. Um, it's something that we offer the stakeholders in our region and it can vary from training and community activities right through to fencing and direct on ground works. The other advantage of devolved grants is it really integrates what we do in our core services. So for example, if we're funding a riparian program, not only can that have an environmental and cultural um, benefit, but it also has a pest management benefit. Local Land Services Western Region uh, focuses on engaging with the Aboriginal community and making sure that the feedback we get from them is taken on board in regards to uh, the projects that we do projects that we roll out through local land services are about uh, connecting Aboriginal community to the country, um, understanding the value of that country to, to the Aboriginal community. Mm -hmm.